three. North has it. And serving for the Huskies is Grace Froling. Yeah, Grace is a freshman, and she's about 6'3". She's, she's going to have four years with North, and she's going to be really good. You know Coach Paparonis would like to have her out there. Oh, you know it. <laughs> With a nice kill on the outside. We'll win any of the first four games. If it goes to that fifth set, then it will be first to 15, and you must win by two in each game or each right. set. Game sets. See, tennis, it's hard for me. Well, <laughs> Chaselyn Rooks' hit went a little bit outside the back line. Oh, that's a double hit. Yeah, eight years since 06 or 07. It's it's been almost nine years now. Actually, I think they started in 2007 or 2000. Yeah, it was okay. 2007. So yeah, this would be their ninth season competing, I believe. And they've been competitive. Yeah. Uh, the last several years. Deer Creek has the the transition to 6A for them is not near as tough as it has been for a lot of schools. You're exactly they have planned right. well. They have gotten in the conference with 6A members last year. Mm -hmm. In football, they've made the, the transition pretty well, although they're not yet 6A, but their preseason or pre-district games are all 6A competition, yeah. and they're competitive. In and fact, they're 2-0 and o right now against Stillwater and Norman, who are both 6A Division One. And that says a lot about their administration and, right. and their preparation. And facilities, they've got what it takes. Oh, yeah. They spend a lot of money on their facilities. 15-9 to nine, North has the serve. Did you see how gross Grace Froling with that serve? And she makes a save there, and this this one's got to go over. Her sister's going to get that across. Oh, and the beautiful block. block up front. That was Kylie Wright. You know, you gotta you got to communicate with the rest of your team on who's got the pass and who's got what. And, and then the setter is kind of the general out there. She's calling stats. She's calling stunts and, and plays and telling the players what to do. Oh, that was a great serve down the line. She has a really outstanding jump serve. It's very aggressive, and it's now 18-9, to and yet another Edmund Memorial timeout. So Froling, Grace Froling with the serve still, 18-9. to Edmund North with the lead in set two. Memorial trying to rally back. Husky's just too strong. That's Romero again with another kill. Did you see that Grace Froling, tallest girl out there, just set that? She's playing the setter position right now. Pretty versatile. Yes, she is. The college level, people would be all over her in a few years. Good hands. And another beautiful cross-court smash there by Hannah Rose Froling, the six-foot senior and team captain. 20-9 to nine north with the lead, and Memorial better do something quick they just or else this set two is going to be away from their control real fast. Well, they took the libero out and put Kaihello back in the back line. And Bailey Sharp yeah, definitely in desperation mode. You notice the student section over there is kind of calmed down as well. What a play. That's a freshman. Yes, that's What a play by Grace Froling is instead of setting that, she just – Without looking, that's like a no-look pass. She just tips it over into the dead spot. 24-16 game. Today, today,